All right, so this one is from Crumb8, who is also a lovely Patreon supporter. When you're starting off, is it better to do a small and short length playable project that doesn't rely too much on fancy graphics, level design, concepts, etc.? Or is it better to take the time to do an ambitious project regardless of how long it can take to complete it? <laughs> it's some kind of a trick question, I think, right? <laughs> so, um, of course, when you're starting out, um, it'll be very foolish to try to take on some kind of um, a dream project. Um, not only will you do that project idea a disservice, because later on in your career, when you, you are um, more better skilled, you probably do a much better job um, at executing that design idea. So keep that in mind too. As tempting as it is to kind of, um, you know, because well, when you're starting out in game dev, you build up some confidence, you learn some some skills, and you think, hey, I can build anything. You start to get this kind of delusional mindset. I know, I've been there. <laughs> I've, I've had a taste of this delusion. And um, yeah, so you think, oh, okay, I'm going to make this, you know, Zelda clone or, or whatever. Um, but the thing is, well, first of all, you'll probably never finish this. It's very unlikely. So start with something small. Use it as a foundation that later on those bigger projects can lean on those earlier um, uh, core concepts that you've created in the smaller projects and in, you can build from there. So building a small project will not only give you um, something to feel confident about because you've uh, released something, you've learned how to finish a game, um, you've understood the whole process from, um, you know, from the start to the end to the shipping. There's a lot of nuanced details that go on in that whole process. Um, like the, ad, the store admin are submitting to Steam and, and marketing and all these things. Um, so if you start those really big projects, you may never really get a taste of those later experiences. Um, but once again, if you take on those dream projects too early, they might become nightmare projects. And what could have later been a dream project and completed based on a, a, a higher a skill level will kind of be wasted earlier on when your skills just aren't up to it. So hopefully that's kind of given you some insight. I actually made a video recently. Um, it's kind of like uh, game advice, uh, be advice for game dev beginners or something like that. Um, check it out somewhere there. Um, but I talk about a lot of this stuff about how to start a project, what you should be kind of expecting and um, really how you should be framing that project in terms of the scope and the complexity. So if you want to get into a more detailed answer on that, I recommend you check out that video. But yeah, good question.